Welcome to my another video of plant shape and today we're gonna learn how to compare two plants to find out the changes either you have to compare revision drawings typical floors purpose could be any and then you need to see whatever the changes are so let's begin uh, I have the drawings here so in step one you have to upload the drawings in plan shape so maybe you kept the drawing in your day drive in network or maybe it's in the email so you have to click here on a plus button and firstly you need to add the files from here you can add the files once the files are here then we can compare so step one you have to upload the file fine step two choose the file that you want to compare any two files so I have here revision 0 and revision 01 and today I'll try to show you all the example the worst case is what if the drawings are not on a same scale the size the format I'll consider all the cases so let's just begin with the basic I have revision 0 and revision 01 and I don't know what are the changes so let's say it we don't need to read manually and spend extra time because Landshift can help us here a lot so I selected revision 0 whenever you have two plan revision 0 and 01 start with old plan if you have typical 3 and typical 4 start with typical 3 okay you always need to start with old plan the previous one why I'm saying you will uh, know now so I have selected revision 0 this is the main feature overlay click on it comparative overlay this is the one that's gonna help us next now it's the same list earlier I choose revision 0 now I'm gonna choose revision 01 or maybe 02 any new plan fine finish software quickly compare the plan and now that's the result now uh, we can see the colors by the way these colors software shows originally there was no color no color these colors software show us and these color mean something to us first thing here anything we see in gray color it's same it's typical we don't need to worry about gray part so it's a pipe it's a wall whatever it is it's your plan you should know better whatever is same in gray color it's same second is blue color it's foam system or it's a different item you can read it's your drawing blue mean deleted so from the whole plan you can see whatever is deleted and red is new that's the third color blue is deleted red is new so we can see in the complete plan designer removed something from here and designer added something here we can easily find out okay fine so here something changed here we can see before it was parking now it's a storeroom some changes in a text even a dimension we can still find out once we find out the changes there is a annotation tab we can choose this and we can add some clouds okay from here to there we can add clouds so we can discuss with the client or the concerned person maybe we need to add some comments we can add here okay maybe it's revised maybe we need to add some sticky uh, tabs we can add here and anything you want to add it it's right click and property we can change here okay it should be in right it should be in black and it's as built we can change you saw we can modify here we can move fine this these are the minor thing our main concern is how to compare there is highlighter as well we can add highlighter as well wherever we find out the changes fine these are the markup tool not a big thing main is how to compare it's by overlay fine this was the first case in this case two drawings come from the same source we compare and we find out the changes but not every time we're gonna see uh, the same case maybe two drawings come from different source one come from shop drawing second is uh, as built 
coordination, civil defense, you know, we have so many different sources and different file format. So how we can react in that case? So let's see the example. I have uh, another drawing. Fine. Let me just give you one more example before we proceed. Again, I selected region zero overlay comparative next and region zero one. Okay, once it's finished, it shows us a notification. Would you like to align this overlay now? I'm going to press here no. Why I'm going to press, I will explain you after some time. But usually I press no. Fine, you can follow in the same process. Okay. So that's the result. Anything we see in gray color, it's same. So you know, the quality, it really matters. If you have poor quality, you may need to zoom a little bit. And then you can read the drawing so here it's removed it's is it a record room is it a sales room you can see whatever is removed a comment in red color so red is additional gray is same and blue is deleted we can see what happened here they removed and red is new so it means they just shifted and there is a comment we can see whatever the changes are by red color blue mean deleted red mean new so just the level change some minor thing it's easy to find out again it was the good case we compared and we find out the changes now let's talk about worst case fine worst case is i have the first floor here you can see here the quality is poor and i have the second floor by the way i can drag and drop fine first and second floor we don't know what are the changes again i'm going to start with first floor as i mentioned earlier so overlay comparative next this time I'm going to choose second floor, third floor or any new flan. Finished. Software quickly compared and now that's the result. Again, software asked us, would you like to align this overlay now? So usually what I do, I press always no. Once I press no, I can see here, that's the result. It means two drawings were not on the same level, not having the same scale. So now what? So in this case, you should press yes. Or you can press this button now to continue because I prefer firstly to see so once I find out no this is not the desired result so how to align by pressing this button you can see under the first floor overlay is created and there is a button if we press this button software will allow us now there are four instructions you can see beside the cursor total four instruction first is click the first alignment point the point that you think is same in two buildings so maybe we can depend on a column stair or lift i'm gonna choose this one that's the first point once i click first it's in my control you can see step two click the matching alignment point so where is the matching okay it should be here once i click the second point it's here step three and just you need to click one time step three is second alignment point first was here second i'll try to find a little bit far this is the one now it's in my control maybe it's a3 it's a2 or one or zero you know different size we can adjust according to any page step four is click the matching alignment point so it's very logical where it should be it should be here just zoom and click now once you click you can see the result okay that is the result you see it's, it turned into gray color it turned into gray we can see now anything here in gray it's same so blue mean deleted red mean new so they just change the shift the text it doesn't matter blue mean deleted red is new just text change text change doesn't matter so overall in this plan there are no change first and second floor is same maybe we can multiply the quantities easy to find out the changes I have one suggestion now in case two. Why I choose the point from here? Why not from here to there's two stair points? The, the points, if we choose the far point, maybe the most right side and extreme left side, it's gonna give us the maximum result. And if still I find a result is not accurate, I'm, I cannot see the clear result. So I can again press this button. Again, software will give me the four options. This time I can choose a little bit more clear. Okay, it should be here. And the second one, it should be here. Once I click, software will give me the result accordingly. So it's more gray color. 
that's much better than before so you know we can practice this multiple time until we get the desired result fine this was the case too now case 3 what if both drawings are on the same floor how are we supposed to compare them so in this case there is one option tools sorry page there is one option crop as new image new page you can click on it it will allow you to crop the drawing I selected this area and give a name first floor so you see new floor is created new drawing is created fine I'll go back original drawing is still as it is now again I'll go to page crop as new image and this I'll give a name second floor fine on the left side you can see two new drawings are here and now we can compare them you can see here overlay comparative next now I'm gonna choose second floor finish would you like to align this overlay usually I press no firstly I check no this is not the desired result and then I can press this button now software allowed me and I can choose the point okay first is from here to there and second we can we will go far and we'll choose the point okay it should be here we can click accordingly okay it was a quick example only now it, it was the case 3 now case 4 what if drawing is tilt it's not even rotated I have two drawing first floor one second I will delete this I have first floor and on the other side I have tilt drawing I want to compare these drawing so in this case we can go to the page tab there is one option level I can click on it and I can choose two points one and two I just need to show any two for two points that should be same so here I showed okay this is the one now my drawing is straight and I can compare this drawing as well so either it's tilt it's on the same floor the scale is not same we can compare any two drawings and we can see whatever the changes are I hope in this video you learn how to compare the plan and the concept is clear if you have a doubt or question you can just drop a comment below and let me know if you face any difficulty or you have a question or just share your feedback thank you and if you really like the video just subscribe the channel and stay tuned because in future i'm gonna upload more smart ideas of plan shift thank you everyone have a good day